Good morning folks, what's going on? Um, today I'm down at Mudderford doing a bit of lure fishing. Um, I decided to try and get here early to try and beat the crowds, but it looks like that hasn't happened. Um, so I'm going to be fishing this. It's really nice, calm, still water here. There's basically no breeze. Uh, it's a bit of a cloudy, sunny day. It's going to be really hot later on, but I'm going to see what I can pick up today. Hi folks, um, no success at the moment. Uh, I had a hit potentially from a bass, I wasn't too sure, um, on my little Dexter wedge that I was spinning around at the start there. Um, I moved over to the other side of the harbour now and I found a nice long groin extending out into the water. Um, all the way out, all these massive boulders, there's lots of little holes in between them and something I've learned is that there's quite a lot of fish that just take shelter inside these holes. Um, so I've got a drop shot rig here and I'll show you how to rig that just after I've done this um, and you can use this rig either for a bit more aggressive lure fishing or really slow static lure fishing like I'm going to be doing now dropping it in the boulders that you can see here okay this is a really quick and simple drop shot rig uh, I'm using spider wire eight pound fluorocarbon here so I've got a length here about one one and a half foot maybe two foot or so um, what I want to do thread one end through my hook, loop it back round again, but don't thread it through the hole this time, just have it next to the line. And then you take your hook and you spin it round. Spin it through the gap, once, twice, three times, and then one more go. So keeping your hook facing out, you can moisten this knot a little bit if you want to on either side. I like to do it just to be safe. Keeping the hook pointing out, all I'm going to do is pull these two tag lines. You see they should come together quite nicely. Pull them nice and tight, push them right up into the into the uh, hook eye there. Nice, really simple. So your hook's already pointing up the right way. You want hook point up most of the time, and that gives you good good um, hook takes on there. So your hook points up below that you want to put a drop shot weight. Um, the benefit of a drop shot weight as compared to a normal weight is that it's got this small little crimped section here. Um, so you post your line through there, pull upwards and it's crimped. So you can change your depth you're fishing at. So that depth there would be about six or seven inches or so. If I wanted to fish a little bit longer, I could pull the drop shot weight further down the line. If I wanted to fish really close to the bottom, I could get the weight really far up as well. Um, so that's really good for changing where you want to fish in the water. So I've got a little size 18 hook with a 5 gram weight. Um, good thing about drop shotting is that you can change your weights to whatever you want. So if you want to fish really light, you can go for a tiny little drop shot weight or the tide like it is now pushing quite hard. Um, you can use quite a decent little sized weight. Because of the distance to the weight to the hook, the fish don't tend to mind too much. Um, so I'm going small hook, smaller, big weight. Okay, let's go. Here's my little lure. Basically an inch of uh, Marukyu Isomi. Uh, this is the medium size. 
and it's a little pink colour and that is one of my favourite colours. Let's see if we can get this guy out. Perfect little specimen, this is exactly what I was thinking of catching. This is a common blenny. Oh, he's a wriggly one. Let's see if I can show you him. Lovely little chap, really common along our shorelines. Um, and they do bite as well, so I'm gonna get this fella back in. Oh, 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 oh. And he's back, let's see if we can catch this one. So I'm watching these gobies now, I can see them, this is shallow enough for you to see them down there. Um, it's just getting their hooks out of them. So a lot of them, uh, they're taking the lure and they're taking it in only about halfway. Um, I want to keep I wouldn't go smaller than that to be honest with the lure because it's not going to get much ac action on it. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with a few mistakes and a few nibbles in the tail. Um, but what I do, I drop it to the bottom, let it tap the bottom once, pull it up and then hold and I'll feel a few little pings. When I see the rod tip go over and stay over slightly, that's when I set the hook and it's normally a take thing. These little blennies are really territorial, so they'll hold this little pool. There'll be four or five little blennies holding this one pool. Um, anything that drops in there, they'll immediately come over to have a look at it. Um, and straight away, every time I drop it in, you get by. So close. There we go. Fish. So I gave that a few more seconds. I waited until I struck for that one. Um, lovely little Blenny again. Perfect little fish. Let's see him again. He's done. Right, folks. That's my video done for the day. Um, I'm going to head home now. I'll probably here in the background. It's really, really busy. Um, so I'm going to head off. But I've got quite a couple of little nice Blennies in those older pools um, which I'm really pleased about so I am going to call that a good success um, didn't get any mackerel bass or anything else but you know maybe the conditions weren't right this is the first time I've been down here probably fishing so I have no idea what to expect when to come down but yeah, it was a good day thanks for watching see you next time